Something that I learned from this experience is that at the end of the day, everyone struggled from the pandemic, but they all had different challenges that they went through and experienced. What I learned from this experience is that you shouldn't compare your struggles to somebody else's struggle because at the end of the day, like we all struggling with something. Like I can be struggling with something right now and you never know until it's too late. And that's why you should, you know, like check in on your peeps, you know. What I saw throughout this experience was people's emotions and the challenges they went through and how it affected them mentally and physically. Before filming, I expected um, all of the people we were going to interview to have relatively the same responses because I thought, you know, everyone went through the same thing. I would expect everyone to have, like, kind of the same outlook over everything. What I saw throughout the experience of, like, people is, uh, like, the regrets they have, or, like, what they didn't do before COVID. And there's also people that like talk about like missing some stuff that they really like want to go back to. I would use the word social to describe our lives before the pandemic because we didn't have to stay six feet, feet apart from anybody. Peaceful. Elaborate that place. Uh, it was way better uh, probably before 2020. Um, it was a little bit not crazy things going around the world and just pretty normal. One word I would use to describe life before COVID would probably be active. The reason I would say active is because before COVID, life was very productive. Um, what I mean by that is like people were doing, people were in school, people were in work, and people were in sports. And then COVID happened and everyone had to adjust to that and stop doing things they would do every day and learn to be by themselves and be isolated, which I know was hard for a lot of people. Um, I would say a word to describe life before the pandemic hit was easy. Um, it Why? wasn't it wasn't so tough as it is now. Waking up on time, a lot of people's schedules were changed, um, and people it was hard for people to adjust to the scheduling for COVID. Honestly, socializing. Uh, no matter how introverted I am, I do like to talk to people. I'm I like to say that I'm pretty poor when I do talk. Um, I always have something to say. I can never stay quiet. So I usually, within the pandemic, I would talk to myself. And now that I don't have to be in the pandemic, I talk to everyone as much as I can. Um, for me, I say healthy and active. I mean, Why? healthy. Um, because I was, I was just involved in everything at school. Like, I did football, I did wrestling. One word to describe my life before the pandemic hit would be comical because um, during the pandemic, I feel like I went into a state of like, you know, boredom because like, I'm not a sheltered indoor type person. I want to go out and do things. And because of, you know, COVID, we couldn't do anything really. Happy. Why happy? I would go outside a bunch, honestly. I would hang out with my friends. I would go to the park. We would just play basketball, just, be, just hang outside. What's our after question of each other? Oh, um, I think that one. Um, something you value now that you didn't value for Now that's, that's a deep. Something I value now that I probably didn't value before the pandemic was, you know, socialization because during the pandemic, it was kind of hard to socialize. It was kind of hard to, you know, get together with your family and friends. So I think now I wouldn't take that for granted as much as I would two, two and a half years ago. It would have to be time. I value time very much a lot more because I value the time I can have with my friends and stuff like that and being able to go out with them. I think I really value just being able to see my friends all the time because during the pandemic it was kind of like I just didn't see them at all. I wasn't able to be around them because of COVID scares. So I think that's probably my friend Scott because I didn't get to see him during the school day and he kept me, you know, company. He was like a really close friend and they felt kind of sad without him during the day. So yeah. Uh, just being a better person for these times. Uh, spending time with my family and trying not to get people sick. I'd be going outside. I'd be going outside. My freedom. Your freedom? My freedom. Just being outside, bro. Uh, <laughs> the most important thing I value now that I didn't value as much before the pandemic is L I F E, life. And why would you say that? I say that because not only did I bring a life into this world during the pandemic, but I saw people lose their lives. People that I knew and people that I didn't know. 
So the most important thing I value, and I believe anybody else should value, is life. Life. Um, I feel like before the pandemic, a lot of people didn't really treat life how they're supposed to treat it. And ever since the pandemic, a lot of people suffered from COVID. So they seen that any day you can pass away or die. And I feel like I took life for granted. I I like I didn't care. But now I care a lot. Some expectations uh, before I filmed was like, I thought people were going to be like uh, fast and short and simple. But when I was recording people, I felt like they got into depth of like the COVID awareness during COVID and before COVID. And I really felt like um, it was kind of inspiring to me since like people had their own issues and um, things they uh, learned throughout COVID. Uh, we came together as a community, so this this project really helped us, I guess, like see COVID through a different lens. 